Well, the world of advanced air mobility is seeing some very interesting designs with new ideas all the time. But you know, sometimes you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And Arc Aero Systems have come up with a very, very novel idea of using some technology ideas that go back half a century. I'm joined by Glenn Waters, who's the Director of Advanced Technologies with Arc. Why, why this 50-year-old technology? Because the certification standards for it already exist. And that will allow us to provide an updated version of it in a much more straightforward manner than trying to evolve systems that there is actually no agreed certification basis for at all. So in terms of the design, you've moved up from the initial gyrocopter to the Lynx P3, a three-seat version, but are now looking at a nine-seater. Yes, and the justification for the nine-seat version is that an aircraft that can operate pretty, pretty well irrespective of any infrastructure. So it, this, this aircraft concept does not need any infrastructure development. It is intrinsically safe. It requires no software certification at all, and it leverages the entire aerospace supply and MRO chain. And it competes against um, existing helicopters, but significantly cheaper price. Yes, it will. It will compete against existing helicopters, and it will have two advantages. One of them is the acquisition and the operational cost basis, but also with its hybrid winged uh, configuration, it has much larger range than any equivalent helicopter. And it, what about its um, sustainable aviation point? So as we all transition into a greener future, this concept is entirely agnostic to whichever is the best green technology as we go forward, whether that be all electric, whether it be liquefied natural gases such as biomethane, you see biomethane buses here, or even hydrogen technologies as they become mature. And when will we see it flying? That's a very good question. We're still at the concept development stage. We obviously need some significant funding, but we have already secured some development funding from, from uh, UK um, Research and Innovation, Innovate UK, and we are beginning that journey. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.